even designed this home, architect Nate Kipnis created models that allowed him to really take a look at how the trees were on this site and how the sun moved across the site and to really make it adaptable to this northern climate. This is a, these are some images of uh, the house that we did in Sturgeon Bay and it has a component that's passive solar. We had a courtyard facing south and we wanted to uh, bring in some southern light from there and what we like to do in the office is to model a lot of the projects that we do to see how the sun is really going to interact and when we're out in the field on a project like this we try and spot some of the trees that are important to us and then we can put them actually on the model in 3D and actually have have the leaves cast shadows for us and it's really important for us to see that to be able to really uh, understand what's going to happen so in some of these views, for example, this one that's called um, Exterior Winter, we can run this animation, and the animation is maybe six or seven seconds long, and we can actually see the pattern of the sun moving across an entire day during that time period. There's a small um, time line, a time spot, that tells us the time of day that's going on, so I can actually make this thing move across and go, okay, at 10 o'clock, that's exactly where the sun is on December 21st. And we know the latitude and longitude of this project, so it's very, very accurate. We could come back here and actually see the house on that day, and it'll be right where we project it would be. Um, we also can do an interior view, so I'm looking at the interior winter shot, and we can see the sun moving through the space in that same seven-second time interval as if it's capturing the sun over the entire day. And what's really fun to do is to run these simultaneously. And you can really get a sense of how the sun moves both inside and out. We did that also on the uh, exterior and interior during the summer. So it's a little longer time period because there's more sun. But uh, those are also very helpful to us to see if our shading is working correctly. Um, we have the uh, light tower shaded. So that's taking some of the sun out that would normally be coming in. One other thing that we do like to do is do a what's called a QuickTime VR, and that is a, a QuickTime view of the interior or exterior, but in this case an interior, that we can move around in 360 degrees and actually see the space. So it was very helpful for the client to see this, and in, in, in a lot of ways it's helpful for us to see it. We spot details that become important to us and we try and take advantage of them. So most of the projects we do try and incorporate some 3D work and some fairly substantial work because we think it's really, really important. For more on the Sturgeon Bay Remodel Project, visit our website at naturalhomemagazine.com.